Hello, Kids Heart Challenge coordinators. This training video will provide an overview of your Kids Heart Challenge headquarters and online ordering tool. To begin, here you can see we are on the main page of the Kids Heart Challenge website, which can be found at heart.org forward slash Kids Heart Challenge. In the upper right hand corner, you'll see a red button that says Student Coordinator Login. Click that and enter the username and password provided by your American Heart Association representative. Once logged in, you will be taken directly to your main headquarters page. You'll notice several tabs going across the top of your screen. We'll start over here on the left with the HQ Home tab, and I'll highlight just a few things that you can see here. First, you'll see the school challenge. This is where you can indicate a special incentive that you are offering to students as part of your Kids Heart Challenge. If you click the arrow here to choose a challenge, you'll see there are several options to choose from. So maybe you are willing to be slimed or perhaps your principal is willing to get a pie in the face. Whatever that special incentive might be, you can select that here. To the right, you can indicate what students need to achieve in order to receive that incentive. So for example, it might be any student who raises $150 or more gets to slime Coach Smith. And here is a quick way to send a message to all of your students that will appear in their headquarters. If we scroll down over here to the left, this is where you can see how your school is doing with its fundraising. And if you haven't had a chance to set a fundraising goal for your school, you can simply click the link here and enter a goal, which will appear on your school's Kids Heart Challenge page, letting students know what they are striving for. And to the right, you can see a quick snapshot of how many students are registered, how many are fundraising, and how many have taken the daily Heart Healthy Challenge. Down below in this first box, this is where you can add a photo or edit your school's Kids Heart Challenge page. In the next box, this will provide a sneak peek as to what your students will see when they log into their Kids Heart Challenge headquarters. This is great for showing your students Finn's mission and all of the different activities and games that they have access to in their headquarters. And lastly, I want to be sure to highlight the homework with heart worksheet. And that's right here. You can click here to download. This is a great piece that you can either hand out to students or post on whatever platform your students use to access their assignments. Homework with Heart walks students and their families through the steps to register for Kids Heart Challenge and earn their free wristband, how to take the daily Heart Healthy Challenge, as well as all of the fun activities that they can do in their headquarters. So that was an overview of the HQ Home tab. We'll scroll back up here to the top. The next tab is the Email tab. Now, many of you may have already given the American Heart Association approval to send emails on your behalf, in which case you may not have a need to send emails to your students. However, for those of you who would like to send any emails, here is where you can do that. 
you'll start by entering your student email addresses here, or you can choose from one of the contact links over here on the left. Then select the email template that you want to send by clicking the drop down arrow and you'll see there are several emails to choose from. The great thing is that each email is already pre-written for you. So that when you select an email, you'll see that the subject and the body of the message already populates for you, which is a really nice time saver. You can scroll to the bottom of the message and then click the red button to preview and send the email. We'll scroll back up to the top. The next tab is teacher resources. This tab allows you to access some awesome resources right here, all in one place, literally at your fingertips. Next, we have the Manage Event tab. This is your thank you gift portal. We also call this the online ordering tool. And the first thing we're seeing is your dashboard, which gives you a quick snapshot of some key things pertaining to your event. For example, you'll see the number of students registered, the total amount raised, and the number of thank you gifts that have been earned thus far. Here you'll see your teacher leaderboard. You can download a school detail report. And if you're participating in the classroom challenge, you'll see that information here. I also want to be sure to mention that if you are one of those coordinators who has given the American Heart Association approval to send emails on your behalf, you want to be sure to click over here on edit. Here you'll see, I approve for the American Heart Association to send emails on my behalf. You want to be sure that this button here indicates a yes. So just a quick reminder, if you have not done that yet, you want to be sure that button is marked yes to give the American Heart Association approval to send those emails on your behalf. So we'll click done, and then we're back at our dashboard. Now we're going to click the blue button that says manage gifts. In addition to some totals here at the top, this screen will show you a list of all of your students who have registered online. You'll see a record for each student, which includes the student's name, their grade level, their teacher name, and their total amount raised. A record like this will be automatically created for a student when he or she registers online. You'll also see buttons below a student's name that indicate any thank you gifts the students may have earned. In this example, we can see that Sally Smith has earned Dash, which is the $5 thank you gift. Once Sally receives that gift, you simply click the button that colors in the button, letting you know that that gift has been given to the student. Now, if you have a student who does not register online and brings in a donation envelope with cash or check inside of it, you can add that student to this page by clicking the add student button. And that's right here, that's the green button. When you click add student, a menu 
opens on the right. And you can simply fill in the student's name, their teacher name, their grade level, and how much money that student has turned in. And it will create a record for that student. Similarly, if you have a student who registers online, but also turns in a donation envelope with cash or checks, you can add those donations to their online record. And to do that, you would simply click on the student's name. Again, that menu will open on the right and you can easily add the cash and check donations right here on this screen. Once your event is over and all of your student donations have been turned in, you are ready to submit your thank you gift order. So here on this screen, you will want to click this purple button over on the left that says submit. This will then walk you through just a few screens where you will confirm some information pertaining to your order and then submit the order online. We do ask that you allow up to four weeks for delivery of your gifts after we receive your donations and any other forms. So we'll click here to return to the dashboard and then to return to the headquarters. And then the last two tabs that you'll see in your headquarters is a social tab. This allows you to connect with others through your social media channels. And then lastly, a frequently asked questions tab, which is pretty self-explanatory. That completes our overview of your Kids Heart Challenge Headquarters and online ordering tool. We hope you found this to be helpful and we'll talk to you soon.